as much as uh, you, my friend, Kongpo and uh, Maruka, you have the opportunity of the real man. I want you to know, and I put it on record, that my daughter is the most beautiful, the most educated, the most industrious, the most intelligent of all the girls in this environment of our village. Mm -hmm. So anytime you have the opportunity of having a drink with me, you must count yourself lucky and see it as a rare privilege. Stop this, your arrogant speech. Eh? What is wrong with you? It's obvious what I have said. What? Which obvious? No, what is obvious in what we have just spoken? Oh, Gongko, can't you see that he has been drinking since morning? It's obvious that he's very close to being drunk. I don't doubt it. Maroka, me, Okute Wani in a drunk. If there are two people in this village who know the Chronicle Testament, according to Okute, it is you as one. Because you know, when I was in Germany, Deutschland, I used to be a wine tester, connoisseur. And you know what? I can't get tipsy, not on palm wine. Well, if you are not tipsy, if you are saying that you are not close to being drunk, then why are you sounding like a broken record? Exactly, Madoka. Broken record. Huh? All right. Admitting, but not submitting. Show me a girl in this village who has a HND from a federal polytechnic, and I'll rest my case. How can you say that your daughter is the most educated in this village? Eh? That is an overstatement. Yes, I have an example. Chinasa, the daughter of Ibe, she has HND in computer science. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Why you laugh for a Christmas? Oh, 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 is he lying? Open the church, is he lying? Well, Chinasa has a West African Examination Council Certificate and GCE, not an HND. Look, her certificate was generated from a computer science center in Abia State, Abba, Mbaro to be precise, where you do a course for six months and a computer generates a certificate for you. Not an HND, higher national diploma from a federal recognized institution. You see how you pronounce it? Institution. Ojono, Ojono. Can you pronounce it the way I do? Ojono. Institution. You will count it as a real privilege. Which kind of privilege? To drink with me. We can still drink without you here. Eh, eh. Can't drink without you. It's not necessary. Shinasa, I'm telling you the truth. Marriage is not something you rush into so that you don't regret it tomorrow. I know, but this guy has been coming here for the past three months. Uh -huh. Also, I suggest you give him a chance. From the way he looks and the way he talks, you can tell he's a nice person. Oh no, mama. So you concluded because he's tough and handsome, you concluded he's a nice person. Well, Benjamin is a nice guy. He is kind, patient, and has a fear of God. It's like you don't know them. Men can pretend to be African. They can pretend to be anything else. As far as they know what that they want from you. Once they get it from you, then their true character will show. For how long? How long for you? I'm telling you the truth soon as I make the meeting. She knows, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Fine. How are you, sir? Fine, sir. Well, 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 thank you, sir. Uh, uh, smile now. 
your husband to be just walked in. And please welcome him with a smile. My husband to be? Yes. I did not know that I'm engaged though. I'm just finding out my new status now. Okay, you don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I just told you. Okay. He's not mm, say thank you. Oh. For telling you your new status. <laughs> you can see that. That's nice. Man. Smile, 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 smile. I can see that and feel comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. Don't bring me never for me. Okay. You know, so don't worry, not today. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I am going to your house today. Mm -hmm. I want to go to your house today. I want to see your mother. I want to see this wonderful people that God used to bring such a special gift to the earth. Yes. So who am I going to tell my father that you are to me? Don't worry about that. When I get there, I will tell them who I am and why I am there. Hey, what do you want to tell them? Who are you going to tell them that you are to me? And what are you going to tell them brought you to our house? <laughs> <laughs> you want to marry, yes, you want to marry, yes, from the look of things you want to marry my daughter, yes, oh yeah, show me your jeep, or your helicopter, she goes university, get a degree, not a diploma. What is your book? Book? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much did you give to me before you went out this morning? Eh? Every day you just go and drink to your satisfaction with your friends. Eat whatever thing you want to eat outside and then you won't give me money. And now you are coming to ask me what I cook. Ah, Agnes. I didn't prepare anything. Agnes, I'm a man. So I have the right to go out and drink with my friends. You're not the one marrying me. I am the one marrying you. Mwan, as a man of the house, how much did you drop for your wife before leaving the house? How much did you give to me for food? How much? I go like in here. Every time I next, what did you cook? What did you cook? Without giving me money. You want me to cut my hand and cook for me? Oh, yeah, Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma. No, no. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Anything for the boys? Ah. Okay, Waka. Papa. <laughs> Not at all, sir. <laughs> Let me get it. This is my friend, Papa, you don't even know his intentions yet, and you're asking him for something. Uh, I don't have to know his intentions, my daughter. When you go to the doctor's office, you make a small nurse, you obtain a card, you must see a card, you go and see the doctor. I've only asked him to obtain a card. That's all. So, are you now a doctor? Yes, doctor of the family in our community. She. Ah, she won't know. Let's go, Maru. Yes, we find her alone. Let's go inside. Let's go, Maru. Huh? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Come in, come in, come in, come in. No, no, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. And thank you for the call and answer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You said, um... Oh, yes. I said someone told me about your daughter. And I came. I saw that everything I was told is true. And even more. And I told myself I need to come and see her parents to make my intentions known. Sir, I like your daughter. <coughs> bless, bless you. Thank you. As a matter of fact, sir, I love your daughter. And I would marry her if she would say yes to me immediately. That is why I have come. <laughs> You're not the only one who likes my daughter. In fact, everybody likes her. From within, from our side, diaspora. Mm. Yeah. They want to marry her. So we are being careful. 
mm-hmm. yes. and selective so that she doesn't fall into the wrong hand. So we are very, very careful. Huh? Um, that small car you drive, is that the only car you have? Hi. Oh, good You will always want to show yourself at all cost. Yeah? At every opportunity, this stupid husband of mine will want to show himself. Yeah? What did I am looking for who to disgrace? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, for now, that is the only car I am driving. But I hope to get more cars as things get. But presently, that is the only car you have. Yes, sir. What business do you do exactly? I deal on electronics, and I am based in Oweri. You import and export electronics? Oh, no, 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 sir. I actually don't have anything to do with importation and exportation. What I do is I collect from the importers and then I retail. You don't import, you retail? Only retail for now, sir. But <laughs> <laughs> Mama, should you see how that man called my father? He's disgracing his ancestors, not me. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, please don't, don't say any further. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him. Oh. Mama, how can Papa be this? How can he? Oh, no. Is he talking? He's okay. He's okay. I don't want you to start creating more scenario. Like, you know, you know the way your father behaves. He will come out now and we'll be talking. Biko, Biko, Biko. Oh, boy. Uh, sir, I will be, I'll be on my way. Ah. Yes, sir. Um, wouldn't you at least, you know, uh, just like that? Wouldn't you at least, uh, you know? Papa! How can I? Oh, sir. <laughs> I understand, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're a good man. Thank you, sir. We will, we will be very good family. Thank you, sir. Eh? Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, umbrella. Go and see him off. Be a good girl you are. Thank you. Pass him off. Don't worry. Come on, come on, sweet. Did he mean to give me 20,000? 500 naira is missing. You want the money? Okay, this was a good You want the money? Yes, sir. From the look of things, you want the money, my daughter? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, show me your jeep or your helicopter. She go university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, the businessman or politician? If you're a civil servant, then sorry, impossible. I wish you good luck and by the way, you have to drop something. Drop something, you must do drop something. For love and romancing, you have to drop something. Kissing and hugging, you must do drop something. You know why? The fashion woman and the money, the story, story. You have to drop something. Uh-huh. That's right. The fashion woman and the money, the letter after. You must do drop something. I don't know, I don't know, I'm with you. I don't know, I don't know. Sorry for the embarrassment, my father. No, 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 no. You don't have to be sorry about anything. I am happy that your family welcomed me with an open arms. I'm happy that they liked me. <laughs> I mean, your father was hilarious. <laughs> so you don't have to be sorry about anything, my love. Thank you for understanding. You're welcome, my love. Thank you. I'll be going to my shop now. Not so fast now. You have not said anything, no. 
Um, like I said, Benjamin, I like you. You are a good person, you are a good man, you are a nice man. But we have to start from courtship. Yes. We, we don't want to get into marriage that we will regret later. It's three months already. Oluchi, three months of constantly checking up on you. Yes, I know. But I have to I have to know you. I have to know your people. I have to know where you're from. I have to know your friends. You know, all that. It's okay. I'll wait. Even if it means waiting forever, I will wait. So long as it is you I'm waiting for. I don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. You want to marry, yes, sir. You want to marry, yes, sir. From the look of things, you want to marry my daughter, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, show me your visa for your helicopter. <laughs> Thank she you. go to university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, a businessman or no politician? If you're a civil servant, sorry, impossible. I wish you could not come by the way. You have to drop something. Drop something. You must drop something. You have to drop something. Shame on you. Oh, shame on you. You better be good. You better be good. You better be Why should I just shame? Tell me. Just look at how you are shamelessly embarrassing your daughter before her guest. Eh? Agnes, I ask you, why should I be ashamed of my asset? Oluchi is my asset. I gave back to her. I trained her in the nursery school. I trained her in the primary school. I trained her in the secondary school. I trained her in the polytechnic. I'm only reaping the dividend of my investment. Why should I be ashamed? So your daughter is now a commodity that you make money from? Before Uncle. Huh? Have I obtained by false pretense from any man? No. I'm using what I have to get what I want. What is there? You are using what you have to get what you want. Why don't you take her to a brothel? Take her there. Take her and be collecting money from unsuspecting customers. Shameless Agnes, man. Agnes, uh, as they pay you, it is with me. You are even singing. If they pay you, they sweet you. To I mean, you. Do. As they pay you, you don't sweet you. You want to marry, yes, sir. You want to marry, yes, sir. From the book of things, you want to marry my daughter, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, show me your chief or your helicopter. She go to university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, a businessman or politician? If you're a Would you mind that? You should be grateful to God and me for making you marketable before men. Preparing you so that reasonable men can see you for all the investments I have made in you. And I have a real Papa, that doesn't mean you should use me as a tool to extort money from unsuspecting strangers who show interest in me. I did not extort money from anybody. The young man out of his benevolence and magnanimity Give me gifts. Do you expect me to say no? Papa, you practically beg for the money and gifts. Yes, it was too embarrassing. I didn't beg for money. I didn't beg for anything. Huh? How can you say that? I mean, you know very well. I use my power of oratory. And the holy book says, the gifts of a man make it the way for him. The worst thing you can say about me, your father, is that I applied technical oratory to get what I want. <laughs> what? Where are you going? I have not finished. <laughs> See, my daughter. Everything has a price. The quality of a product determines the price. Every man should go to his class. I invested all in seeing you because you, you have become a first class wife material. 
So it is only first class official materials that should come to you. Men with surname. Men with class. Range Rover, Land Cruiser, millionaires and billionaires. Not one person who drives a creepy car wants to creep into this environment to creep into you. No, you are meant for the rich. Think and be wise. And yet, you went ahead to collect his money and his gifts, knowing fully well that he is not your class. Hmm. Well, that decision is not yours to make. It is solely mine to make, and that's fine. Oluchi, you lie. That's a good answer. The choice is mine to make. I've invested a lot in you. I will not leave you to make that decision. You are my investment. I have to reap from my investment. Look, as a hippie on the highway, I'm a Mifan Aluo. Want to bring in one creepy man in a creepy car from a creepy environment to creep into you. You want the man, yes, sir. You want the man, yes, sir. From the look of things, you want to marry my daughter, yes, sir. I'm very sure you have to see things for yourself. I'm telling you, he's a very nice one. Very nice one. I told you. My sister. After everything my father did to him, I was very embarrassed. I said, I beg him, I said, please, oh, sorry about what my father did to you. He said, no, cannot be, no. He was so happy. He didn't even feel bad. He said um, that he's even very happy that my parents accepted him. Unlike other men, they would have left me and they would be so angry. But this one, he just kept his cool. <laughs> I told you the nice thing. I tell you. <laughs> yeah. The thing now is that. I've decided to give him a chance. We are already in a courtship. Wow. <laughs> but I've not accepted his marriage because I yet to. Because I still need to know the kind of man he is. If he's the kind of man I need in my life. Well, there's no problem. All I know is that he's a nice man. I will make him very good man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My friend, you are working for a billionaire. You can't be working for a man like Chifume and you are talking about hunger. Oh, yeah, I can't have a billionaire or age card. It's true. Uh, yeah. But you should know that sometimes uh, they will only give you small food. The police are not 20 like this. Okay. <laughs> so, we meet the fast food here. That is a jealous. Uh, uh, I hope he's not still sleeping. Uh, yes, he's awake. Uh, he's at work. He's, he's, he's discussing with his daughter. Oh. You know, she returned from UK three days ago. Eh? So they, they always there together before discussion. They can number one. Hi. So I can't see him now. He, 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 uh, no, you know what? You have to wait so that I, I will not tell you how to enter, when to enter. Yeah. Just wait small. Uh, okay. Can we, are, we, are we going to enter his <laughs> Yes, we enter his side. Oh, we are the game. He's doing it. How far are we going to get that? Emily. You don't I used to. I know, eh? Okay. Let me check.
I mean, to what end will it be that after laboring all these seeds to acquire all this wealth, I will watch them go down the trails? I mean, after I am gone, the banks will seize my money, squander them, do whatsoever they like with it, and total strangers will inhabit my properties and take control of them. What is the game for me, laboring all these years to acquire all this wealth? It's not like I don't understand what you're saying. I totally understand, trust me. But you have to understand me too. I have a life, I have a dream, I have a career to pursue. You have to go back to the UK to pursue my career. Shari, to what end do you need to pursue a career if not to make money? Must I remind you that your father, Chief Ume, has succeeded in making enough money. Wealth that will last even down to my 15th generation. You are my only child. All I ask of you is to stay here with me. Forget about your dream of living abroad. I want you to stay here, get married here, raise your family here, understudy me. So that at the end, I will joyfully bequeath all I have labored for to you and your husband. My dear daughter, my soul will never rest in peace. Knowing that after I am gone, my money will be scattered by scavengers and total strangers will inhabit my properties and do what they like with all I have labored for all these years. Can't you understand? Everything is not about money. I have my life to live. What happens to my happiness? What happens to me? I have the talent. I know how to sing. I know how to dance. I need to showcase my talent, Dad. What about that? And who says you cannot sing and dance here? Oh. Huh? <laughs> and what is good about the morning bench, I think? Where is my money? Uh, sir, I, that is where I have come. Ben, you don't have to come. All you need to do is transfer my money and I'll get the alert. Yes, sir. That is exactly the point. I, I, I came to explain certain things to you because business has really been done. And I, I'm just trying to see if I can get you to understand that if you give me more time, I will definitely not fail to... Benjamin. Sir? The very day I sent that container to you, was the same day I sent to Ekene. Yes. Ekene has paid all his money and has even deposited for next consignment. Oh, so you, you need to understand this. I have been telling you. Ekene is in Kunecha. That's where his market is. That's where the market is. I am based in Oweri. You can't compare these business grounds. It is it's unfair. Besides, I'm trying my best to make sure that I don't... Excuse. You like keeping excuses. Ben. Sir. Get out of my house. I don't want to see you. Sir. Okay, sir. Th thank you, sir. Shut my door after me. Yes, sir. Why are you calling me now? I, call, I called you before you refused to take my call. Where is my money now? I, I need to pay. I'm owing somebody. I need to pay. What kind of rubbish is this?
So, Daddy, who is he? Benjamin is one of the boys I give my containers. I supply them goods on credit. They sell, take their profit, remit my money to me so I can recoup my capital investment. Wow. You're such a humble friend. Yes. Benjamin is 100% humble. The reason I liked him and decided to make him rich. <laughs> okay, but the way you just spoke to him now suggests otherwise. <laughs> Sharon, my daughter. Yes, sir. You see, the reason I want you around me so that you can understand your father in business. I shout on them. Yes, Ben is a good boy. He's doing his best, but I don't want him to relent. I mean, I don't want him to feel that he has arrived. That is why I pressure him. I want him to sit up. I want him to always be on his feet. And it is good for him in business you do that. <laughs> Oh, so my dear daughter, let's go back to our discussion before he interrupted us. Okay. You want the man, yes, sir. You want the man, yes, sir. From the look of things, you want the man in my daughter, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, show me your jeep or your helicopter. She go university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, a businessman? Why was she looking at me that way? Why did she even have to follow me outside when I left them? I hope her father has not told her stuff about me. No, she wouldn't do such a thing. Maybe she was just admiring me. Wait, admiring me? Someone who has stayed all her life in the UK? Why would she be admiring about a poor church rat like me? Who oh, looks upon his father for survival, please? It is not by force, make sure it is from your heart. Anything I get, I will appreciate. Make it something good, something very good. If you want to show love, uh, it is important to you have to drop something. Don't do forget, you must to drop something. For love and romance, you have to drop something. Are you sure you're not disappointed that woman? Saturday is just four days from today. My sister, I'm not disappointed. I've already cut her dress. I'll start making it from tomorrow. In two days' time, the dress will be ready. I've never disappointed anybody before. That was a decision I made before starting this business. I just want to make a difference. I like that spirit. Uh -huh. um, what about your man, Ben? <laughs> you will not believe it. What? <laughs> Anything? Benjamin has not called. He has not visited for three days now. Three days? Three whole days. Three good days. Did you call him? Should I? Yes, now. You should call him. You've not heard from him for three days. You need to call him to know if everything is alright. And I, 
I, I didn't want to call him so it's not look like I'm the one that is missing him. Oh, you're missing him now. Eh? I'm missing him. Asha. <laughs> yes, let me say the truth. Yes, I'm missing him. You didn't call him. Um, well, I've already decided that if he does not call throughout today, in the evening when I get to my call, please do. Benjamin is a very nice guy. Hmm? Madam Love. Me too, I will love you. Free me. <laughs> <laughs> Like it was so comic, like, <laughs> I never knew you had this part of you. <laughs> you should be in the entertainment industry. Why are you wasting your talent? My dear daughter, you know, the truth is that in those days, mm. when I was still very young, I was that young man that is so determined to make it in life full of energy, zeal, and passion to excel. You know, I tried my best to cover an inch in the entertainment industry. I went severally for auditions in the NTA then. And um, the truth is that <laughs> I failed all. <laughs> they don't have eyes to see me. <laughs> so I, I decided to channel all the passion into buying or selling. Mm. And as you can see today, it's so I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yes, um, yes. I've been meaning to ask you, what about the guy that came the other day? Benjamin? I don't know if that's his name. What about him? That's nothing. I, I, I mean, I, I, I just wanted to ask if he's been able to play the outstanding. That is, no, I'm just. <laughs> that is oh. <laughs> you woman. Why not just tell me that you're beginning to like him already? <laughs> uh, listen, I noticed the way you were looking at him the other day. Hmm? Anyways, um, Benjamin is a very good boy. Okay. He's hardworking, humble, honest, patient. I I love him too. I must confess. I will give you his number so you can reach him anytime you want. No problem. See, it's, it's, it's not like I want the number, but if you can give it to me, I will take it. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. Oh, no, no, go oh, down. No, no. <laughs> Benjamin, if I didn't call you, you were going to sleep comfortably this night without calling me, right? Someone is missing me. I like the sound of that. What do you mean by that, Benjamin? You've completely forgotten everything about me. You do not even care. You're not even consigned. You see why I said it's no good for a girl to fall in love so fast? Eh? Because that person will just start taking them for granted. Is it because I took it to my parents? Is it? I just took it to my house and showed it to my parents. Now you've lost value for me. No, 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 it's not like that. It's just that there's so much burden on me right now. I don't, I don't know. I will explain to you. Go on, I'm listening. Okay. <clears throat> you see, I have, I have a problem with my boss. He 
he supplied me some goods and I have not been able to repay, remit any money. The business has been so dull. I don't, I don't know what is happening. The thing is that I have never owed him before. But this time around, he's not even me. The thing is just, I'm having a bad business season. That is just it. Hey, but that should not be a problem now. You should explain things to him. That is, that is the problem. Okay, I have explained to him, but he's not ready to listen. I know him. All he wants is his money. And he's running out of patience with me. I don't want him to stop sending me consignment, which is my greatest fear. But what do you intend to do now? Honestly, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm just so scared that he may not be able to send me goose again. You should not be confused. You are a man. You should think out the best way to solve this problem. Well, I am thinking, since I am credit worthy with some bank, I could just go take a loan, pay chief. Then I am sure that no matter how bad business is, I should be able to, you know, finish selling by the end of the month. Then I can repay the bank. Uh... In as much as it's a brilliant idea, I wouldn't advise you to go for a loan. Yes, you heard me right. You know, you don't solve a problem by creating another problem. You cannot pay debt through a loan. It's not wise. Okay. This number has been calling me. I don't know who, who is that. Uh, maybe I should end the call so you can pick the call. No, 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 no. Look, whoever that is, he or she should wait. I'm talking to you, you're my priority, and you'll finish talking before I pick the call. Mm -hmm. uh, see your max, I'm your priority for now. Your priority, but you've not called me in days. You're saying I'm your priority, let me hear. Please, just leave me, John. Still very angry with you. I am sorry. It's not like that. It's just the burden is just too much. I need, I needed to just free myself from this whole thing. But okay, I promise you, one, I'll find a way. I'll make out time by the end of the week to see you. Hmm? How about that? <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> He's been busy, like. Or maybe he's talking to his girlfriend. I don't know why. Sharon Ume, Chief Ume's only daughter. Oh, uh, uh, uh <clears throat> good evening, ma. I'm, I'm so sorry, ma. I didn't know it was you calling. I beg your pardon, I am not, ma. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just thought since you're my boss's daughter, I should accord you the same respect. I, I didn't mean any disrespect, ma. No, it, it, it's, it's fine. I am 27 years old and I know you are way older than me. So please. I would like you to address me as Sharon, not Ma. Uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure speaking with you today. How are you doing? I'm good, are you? I'm good. Uh, I guess there's no need uh, asking how you got my number. Anyways, my dad gave me your number. Yeah, and um, I actually saw you the day you came. I, I like you, and I told my dad. So he gave me your number. 
I don't live here, like I said, I stay in the UK and I don't have friends here. So I don't I don't mind if we can go out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, um I can't wait for for us to be friends. Um what do you think about this weekend? Oh this fine, this weekend is fine. I'm all yours. <laughs> I'll call you. You have a Good night. Thank you. Ah. No. It can't work. I'm already in love with someone else. God, you really have to save me from this situation. Inviting you to my daughter's uh, marriage uh, ceremony this weekend. Eh? I want you to be there and I will personally attend to you. <laughs> really? Yes. Which of your daughters? Wake go and came, man. The one that dropped out from SS1. Exactly. Oh, I was so happy. So happy when I had this good news. <laughs> Very She's getting married. Yes. Mm. Where is the man from? Uh, the husband is from uh, Abia State. Mm. Yes. What business does he do? He's not a businessman anyway. He's a civil servant. He works in a, a soap manufacturing company. Ah. Ah. Civil servant? Why would you give out your daughter's hand in marriage to a civil servant? Huh? Then I'm not even a civil servant. It would have been better if it was a very big government agency, not a soap manufacturing company. Look, what kind of questions are these? Eh? What is wrong with him giving his daughter out to a civil servant? What is wrong with Mad him? Madoka, there's everything wrong in it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Civil servants are mostly referred to as evil servants. They are full of stories. It's either they are talking about three months salary or six months salary. They are causing their governors. Ah, how can you do that? Ah, come up to see where mind your language. Don't insult me. In Anuya, don't insult me. What, what is insult there? No matter, Kabe, you know what I'm talking about. Eh? Civil servants are always complaining of one thing or the other. Eh? Full of stories. Eh, eh. Is this your story, Okute? Is it your story? Leave it for me. It's not your story. Anyway, it's just as friends. I'm just giving you free advice. Huh? Anyway, you are even lucky that your SS1 dropout got a husband. But it is just like jumping from frying pan to fire. Huh? From poor family of Ogongo to a lost family of soap manufacturing company. And poverty is going to be smelling around. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okute, what kind of madness is this? This is then called for celebration, not insult. Don't mind him. We shall see the kind of in law that will come to marry his daughter. Oh, see. Yeah, you know, him cool. Yes, you know, him cool. Aha. <laughs> anyway, there's no basis for comparison. My daughter will marry someone who has a name, a surname. You will see somebody my daughter will bring. I'm not a dropout like your daughter. You know, somebody who will come and if you know what they call me. Maybe your daughter is even lucky, but I won't want to go to the level you belong to. My daughter is going to bring somebody to the polytechnic. <laughs> Not when you're in a secondary school. Good journal. Good In fact, I lost my appetite. I'm not doing it. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. happy. Because I'm fighting people. Come back, come back. See, I'm up. Yeah. Mother, I love you. Can I excuse? Don't worry. 
Of course, I'll let you eat the unquote when they bring the unquote for them. This is why they need to. They might win again. You want the money? Yes, I. You want the money? Yes, I. From the look of things, you want the money, my daughter? Yes, I. Oh, yeah, show me your jeep or your helicopter. She go university, get a degree, not a diploma. Do you live abroad, a businessman or politician? If you're a civil servant, then sorry, impossible. I wish you good luck and by the way. You have to drop something. Drop something. You must drop something. For love and romancing. You have to drop something. Kissing and hugging. You must drop something. Hello. Who is here? Mr. Man, so you finally came. And finally, someone missed me. <laughs> I come, come, come. I'm sorry. I'm there now. Come on. Sit down, chill. Mr. Ben, mm -hmm. do you know when I was still playing hard to get? You were always present. You were so consistent here. But immediately accepted you. Yeah, you just disappeared. Oh, no, I thought I explained everything to you. I told you I was... The burden was just too much. I didn't know what to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll go back to the days when I was playing hard to get... Uh-uh. How will you say such a thing now? I'm not saying anything like that. Mm. It's okay. So, how was market today? You can't believe it. Market was so good. Between yesterday and today, I made so much sales that I've even remitted half of Chief's money. It's a lie. I can't lie to you now. People were just coming from all angles, from east to west. They were coming as if someone directed them to my shop and they say, you people must buy a thing or two before you leave there. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I don't know what is happening. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know that this is a sign? A positive one at that. What sign? That you and I are meant to be together. You know, from the very first time I saw you, my heart skipped. And I I just convinced myself to follow my heart and look at it. I just shared my problem with you and a little words of encouragement from you and boom, it happened like a magic. You are an angel sent from heaven for me, exclusively for me. <laughs> I'm blushing. You always flatter me. This one is not flattering. This is me unburdening my heart. I love you. I can't stop loving you. I love you too. You do? Take you home. But I'm not done yet. You need to sleep. I have 7 a.m. service to attend tomorrow. Okay. Take me to your hotel. Yeah, please. We need to have fun. And me and you fun. And I need to see the size of that thing in there. <laughs> you don't understand it. I have to go home. Okay? If you want to go to a hotel to sleep, that's fine. I can take you to a comfortable hotel, but for me, I will go home this night. Okay, that's fine. Take me home to my father next time. I know you are shy, right? No problems. <laughs>
let's go. You want the money, yes, sir. You want the money, yes, sir. From the look of things, you want the money, my daughter, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, show me your jeep or your helicopter. She go university, get it, not to people.